let a and b be two bases in some vector space v. Suppose that vector a sub 1 is equal to 6 times vector b sub 1 minus vector b sub 2. That vector a sub 2 is equal to minus vector b sub 1 plus 5 times vector b sub 2 plus vector b sub 3. And let vector a sub 3 be equal to vector b sub 2 minus 4 times vector b sub 3. And we want to find the following. So the first thing we want to find is the change of coordinates matrix from basis A to basis B. And then we want to go ahead and find the coordinates of vector X relative to basis B for this given vector X. So here we go. In part A, we want to find the change of coordinates matrix from basis B to basis A. So we want the change of coordinates matrix P from basis A to basis B. So what is this asking us to find? This is asking us to find the matrix whose column vectors are the coordinates of basis A relative to basis B. So you have the coordinate, so the first column is going to be the coordinates of vector A sub 1 relative to basis B. We then have the second column vector is the coordinates of vector A sub 2 relative to basis B. And we have the third column here is defined as the coordinates of vector a sub 3 relative to basis b. So let's think about the three vectors that we're given here that define the basis a. So we have that vector a sub 1 is defined as 6 times vector b sub 1 minus vector b sub 2. We are also given that vector a sub 2 is defined as minus vector b sub 1 plus 5 times vector b sub 2 plus vector b sub 3. And last but not least, we have that the vector a sub 3 is defined as vector b sub 2 minus 4 times vector b sub 3. And what we want to do is find the coordinates of each one of these vectors relative to basis b. So to do that, let's convert each one of these vector equations to the equivalent matrix equation. So a sub 1, we can convert this to the matrix equation where we have the matrix defined by the column vectors of basis b. So I have vector b sub 1, vector b sub 2, vector b sub 3. So we need to include that here even though it doesn't appear in our equation, our linear combination. And this is multiplied by the column vector of coefficients, 6 negative 1, 0. And so from here we can see that this is the change of coordinates matrix P relative to basis B multiplied by the coordinates of vector A relative to basis B. So we can say therefore the coordinates of vector A sub 1 relative to vector or relative to basis B is the column vector 6, negative 1, 0. So there is the first column vector. Now we want to do the same thing with the other two. And we'll give ourselves a little more room. So we can rewrite this as the matrix equation. So we have the matrix with column vectors b sub 1, b sub 2, b sub 3, multiplied by the column vector of weights, negative 1, 5, 1. And so therefore, the coefficients of vector a sub 2 relative to basis b is equal to the column vector negative 1, 5, 1. And so there is the second column vector of our matrix. And last but not least, converting vector a sub 3 to the matrix equation. This is the matrix with column vectors b sub 1, b sub 2, b sub 3, multiplied by the vector of weights, 0, 1, negative 4. And so therefore, the coordinates of vector a sub 3 relative to the basis b is equal to the column vector 0, 1, negative 4. So we can take these three column vectors and define the change of coordinates matrix. So we can say that therefore, the change of coordinates matrix p of basis a to basis b is defined by the 3 by 3 matrix. So we have 6, negative 1, 0. The second column is negative 1, 5, 1. And our third column is 0, 1, negative 4. And so this is our beautiful final answer here to part A. 
And so we're now ready to go ahead and find part B. So in part B, we are asked to find the coordinates of vector x relative to basis B for the given vector x defined as the linear combination 2 times vector a sub 1 plus 3 times vector a sub 2 plus a sub 3. So I want you to keep two things in mind as you proceed here. So let's quickly recall that, so by the definition, by that change of basis definition, we know that the coordinates of a vector x relative to basis b is defined as the multiplication of the change of coordinates matrix from basis A to basis B multiplied by the coordinates of vector x relative to basis A. The other thing I want you to keep in mind here is that a coordinate mapping is a linear transformation. So these two important reminders are going to be helpful as we proceed in finding the coordinates of vector x relative to basis b. So the first thing I want to do here is let's think about this given vector x. And we can say that since a coordinate mapping is a linear transformation, we can do the following. So since a coordinate mapping is a linear transformation, then we can take this vector x, which is defined here as 2 times vector a sub 1 plus 3 times vector a sub 2 plus vector a sub 3. And so this maps to the coordinates of vector x. And we want to give ourselves more room. So you have the coordinates of vector x relative to the basis b is equal to the coordinates of this linear combination 2 times vector a sub 1 plus 3 times vector a sub 2 plus vector a sub 3 relative to the basis b. And since this is a linear transformation, let's go ahead and separate this out. So we have the coordinates of vector x relative to basis b. Since it's a linear transformation, we know that we can rewrite this as 2 times the coordinates of vector a sub 1 relative to basis b plus 3 times the coordinates of vector a sub 2 relative to basis b plus 1 times the coordinates of vector a sub 3 relative to the basis b. And we can now rewrite this vector equation as the matrix equation. So the, this is the matrix whose column vectors are the coordinate vectors of the vectors A relative to basis B, which should look familiar. And this is multiplied by the column vector of weights, two, three, one. And so what we have here is the change of coordinates matrix from basis A to basis B multiplied by the, co the coordinates of vector X relative to A, which here is specifically defined as two, three, one. And we just found this change of coordinates matrix back in part A. So let's plug that in. So we have the coordinates of vector x relative to the basis B is equal to the matrix, that 3 by 3 matrix, 6, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 5, 1, 0, 1, negative 4, so there's your change of coordinates matrix from basis A to basis B. And we are multiplying this by the coordinates of vector x relative to basis A. And so by the row column rule, we can take this product. So we can say that this is equal to, we have our first row by the column vector. So that's going to give us 12 minus 3 plus 0. We then have the second row multiplied by the column vector. So that leaves us with negative 2 plus 15 plus 1. And last but not least, we have the third row multiplied by the column vector, which leaves us with 0 plus 3 minus 4. 
And so doing a little arithmetic here, we are left with, we have 12 minus 3 leaves us with 9, 16 minus 2 is 14, and then negative 4 plus 3 is minus 1. So therefore, the coordinates of vector x relative to the basis b is the vector 9, 14, negative 1. And this is our beautiful final answer.